if the Lakers are not going to trade LeBron James, it might make sense right now to trade the guy that you ironically traded for a few seasons ago that has put you in this position where you don't have first-round picks, and now you're contemplating making a deal with Russell Westbrook, who has no business being on that team, because you're so afraid that you're going to have to trade up your last two first-round picks of the decade, it might be time to trade the guy that put you in this position. Can I step up for Laker Nation real quick and say something about Anthony Davis? I'm done with this. I'm one night into the season. I'm done with this. Everybody knows it. People don't want to say it enough. Anthony Davis is done playing the center position. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. Six rebounds in the third quarter for Anthony Davis? He doesn't want to play it. He's not giving it his all. He wants to be a guy that is kind of like around that free throw line and on out. The problem with that is he can't shoot anymore. I don't think the Lakers are mad at Anthony Davis wanting to play from the free throw line and on out because he can stretch the floor. The problem is Anthony Davis some somehow, some way over the last two, three years has lost that beautiful jump shot that helped make him one of the most dominant forces in the league because he can give it to you inside out. If he's only going to be a guy that attacks from the inside, he's not strong enough. He's not big enough to do the Giannis thing, the Joel Embiid thing. He's not big as them guys. Nowhere near big as those guys. The Jokic thing even. He can't dominate in just the paint. Ironically, now Giannis is pretty close to the shooter that Anthony Davis is. It's closer than it should be at this juncture in your career, because Giannis is going to dominate inside. Anthony Davis is not dominating inside, though he has the length advantage more times than not. Anthony Davis ain't playing the five. He's already let it be known that he doesn't want to do it. If you watch his presser the other day, he flatfoot admitted that he doesn't want to be the five. He said it. He said, I'm sure Coach Ham has heard me give my opinion on playing the five. Go look it up. If the Lakers are not going to trade LeBron James, which I don't think they're going to do because of the brand that LeBron has built, it might make the most sense to move Anthony Davis off right now. I'm talking about for uh, the team, the organization, for the future of the Lakers. I think I'd be more comfortable with losing, with just LeBron James going and getting his stats, chasing Kareem. That way you please all the LeBron fans and LeBron himself, trading Anthony Davis and going and getting some picks and at least losing with a purpose. Right now, the Lakers are losing with no purpose. We're going to be a lottery team, but we don't have a lottery pick next year because we traded all the picks to go get Anthony Davis, the guy that, number one, cannot stay healthy for 50 games a year anymore, and number two, does not want to play the center, even though he should be the Lakers' center. I already told you guys about AD. He, he lost the ability to call his shots and be the four-man. He doesn't shoot anymore. He doesn't play enough. Darvin Ham's like, yo, I, yo, you're not calling the shots. I need another shooter on the court because you can no longer shoot. I'd rather watch the Lakers lose and at least have some picks going forward. I can't even watch the, the, the up-and-coming scoots, the, the Victor Wamiyamas. I can't even watch him with pure pride because I know we don't have a chance to get him, even though we're as bad as the teams that need to get Victor Wambayama, a scoop. Here is the reality of the situation. Two things. I think I'd rather have Bam out of Bayou right now than Anthony Davis because at least Bam isn't running from the center position. AD is running from the center position.